Currently, over 70% of the country's power generation is done through hydropower plants. Therefore, electricity consumers question as to why the full surcharge that was added to the electricity bill last year is not removed. The government took steps to impose a full surcharge on the electricity bill in February last year until further notice. This step was taken in order to minimize the losses suffered by relying mainly on crude oil for power generation. The full surcharge is 25% for consumers whose monthly electricity consumption is below 30 units, 35% for those who use between 30 and 60 units, and 40% if the electricity consumption is over 60 units. <laughs> Due to the rainy weather conditions we are experiencing, hydropower is at a maximum level of 80%. This is important because before the rains were experienced in November, the hydroelectricity level was below 18% due to the drought. Therefore, fuel had to be imported. But we have overcome this situation and we consider 2013 to be a positive year. Although hydropower generation has exceeded 70%, the fuel surcharge is yet to be removed. When news first made inquiries, the chairman of the Public Utilities Commission of Sri Lanka, Dr. Jayati Sadi Kosta, said that the commission has not reached a decision on revising prices.